Hey, 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 welcome back to Free Software Tips. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you my 10 personal tips on how you could increase your laptop's battery life on Windows 10. So um, this particular tutorial is uh, useful, especially if you have no access to charging ports when you go outside your um, home, workplace, wherever you go. Let's get started. So first, we're going to create a custom optimized power plan. To do that, we're just going to um, go to our start menu, click on the settings. Under the um, system settings right here, you'll be able to see the power and sleep. Click on that one. Scroll down until you see the um, additional power settings right here. Click the create power plan right on the left portion of your screen. Name that plan anything that you'd want. Ultimate power um, saving plan and click on the power saver um, settings right here hit the next option now this part configure that on your own depending on your preference click the create button once you're done under the uh, ultimate power saving plan or the plan that you just created click the change plan settings and click on the change advanced power settings will be taken to this um, page right here on the wireless adapter settings under the power saving mode while it's on battery set that one to maximum power saving scroll down until you see the um, pci express right here expand that one again and under the link state power management while it's on battery make sure to set that one to maximum power savings under the processor power management Expand that one until you see the minimum processor state. While it's on battery, set that one to 0%. And the maximum processor state, while it's on battery, limit that one up to 90% only. What this does, it does uh, it will limit the maximum processor state or the uh, processor usage on your computer, which you could see on your taskbar right here. That would also reduce the power consumption or drawn power on your laptop so close that one and click on the amd power slider if you don't have this um settings it's okay just skip on the steps under the overlay make sure that while it's on battery set that one to battery saver on the amd graphics power settings expand that one also and under the amd power play settings set that one to optimize battery hit the apply button okay so the next step is quite pretty simple just simply enable the battery saver under the taskbar, we're going to go to the um, battery icon right here. Click on that one while we are on our um, power plan a while ago. Click the battery saver right here. It will um, reduce the screen brightness on your um, laptop. Next up is we're going to do is click again on that um, battery icon right here and click on the battery settings. Scroll down until you see this um, battery saver right here. It would uh, automatically turn on. Check that one. Whenever it the battery falls below, um, you can set that one a little bit higher, around 50%. Just set that one, whichever you like. But uh, higher the better because um, it would trigger the battery saver much quicker. The next step is we're going to um, pause Windows updates. Go to your start menu and click on the settings right here. Scroll down until you see the update and security. You'll be able to see this pause updates for uh, seven days. Once uh, you pause that for seven days, it would um, prevent Windows from updating itself. Thus, it would uh, further uh, reduce the amount of power drawn on your laptop whenever you are outside. So the next step is we're going to disable the um, Bluetooth on your laptop whenever you don't use it. So to disable the um, Bluetooth, click on the start menu again, click on the settings. Click on the devices right here and you'll be taken to the first um, page right here which is the Bluetooth and Android devices. Just simply toggle off the Bluetooth option right there and just you're gonna close that one and that would um, automatically disable the Bluetooth feature on your device. Next is we're going to disable Windows animations. So um, to do that we're just going to go to our start menu right here. Click again on the settings icon under the system. Scroll down until you see on this um, part the about option right here. Scroll down again until you see the um, system info under the related settings right here. Click on that one. It will show you up this panel right here. And click on the advanced system settings. Under the advanced tab, click the performance uh, settings and hit the um, custom right here and uh, disable um, everything that I have disabled right here 
click the OK once you're done copying that one. It would uh, disable the uh, app's animations that would also further reduce the power consumption on your laptop. The next is we're going to limit the transmit power of our um, Wi-Fi device. So let's go ahead and go to a start menu. Search for um, device manager. Open that one up and make sure you are running on a administrator account under the network adapters right here right click on your wi-fi um, device if you have one right click it and go to the properties option under the advanced tab scroll down to see the um, transmit power set that one instead of the highest set that one to either the medium low or lowest depending on your preference but um, what this does is it would limit the um, power of your Wi-Fi device or Wi-Fi hardware which would um, limit the speed of your Wi-Fi um, adapter depending on your um, situation but you could set that one to medium low for the safest um, option right there. Hit the OK once done. It would um, restart your um, Wi-Fi adapter or network adapter. And then once done, it would then uh, apply these settings. Next is we're going to limit the um, auto start up um, apps on our Windows. So go ahead and go to your taskbar, right click it and open up task manager. Under the startup tab, um, disable any apps that are not um, needed uh, upon startup. And you can see by um, clicking on this um, startup impact, you could start them depending on their um, impact how much they would take up the uh, speed upon startup of your computer. So right here, for example, the Microsoft Edge, I could disable that one since it's not a need to have it uh, started upon boot up. So you just disable um, whichever apps uh, you don't uh, need right there. And once done, you could close the task manager. Next is uh, we're going to close unused apps and tabs on our browser. So go ahead and go to your task bar, right click on it and click the task manager. Click the uh, fewer um, details right here or um, sort them by name. Just a precaution, um, only end task the apps which you are sure that um, you are not using. If you don't know or you're not familiar with the apps right here, such as this um, particular services right here, you must not terminate them if you don't know what you're doing because you might terminate a particular system app which might um, cause some Windows um, error. On your browser, take it a habit to close unnecessary tabs right here. For example, um, I have this kind of habits of uh, multitasking and have different tabs open up at the same time. So make sure to close the tabs which you are not using anymore. With that, I'm going to go to our next um, tip right here, which is to install a tab suspender right here. Our browser uses a lot of uh, resources of our laptop device. So having a tab suspender plugin installed on your browser, uh, you could configure it one to automatically um, disable tabs which are not being idle for quite a certain amount of time. And then um, so after setting the tab suspender extension, it would automatically disable uh, tabs and suspend them whenever they are idle for a certain amount of time. And that would uh, reduce the amount of RAM that's being used on your computer. Last step is um, to use a uh, battery limiting software. This tip might not actually be uh, applicable to everyone since uh, you might not have this kind of feature but I'm using a Asus um, VivoBook F5 12DA um, top and it has this um, app right here it's called my Asus um, app which you could install on your um, device. You could um, set the battery health charging right here. You could limit that one to uh, full capacity mode which would um, set the battery charge limit of your laptop to up 100% which it would basically not limit it to, uh, to anything but uh, since I usually have my laptop plug in most of the time so I just set that one to maximum of 80% to further prolong my um, laptop's battery uh, lifespan because laptop's battery have a particular um, charge and discharge cycles wherein the more you charge and discharge your laptop the sooner it would lose up its um, charging capacity. 
So having it only um, charge up to 80% if especially you are using your laptop most of the time at home or uh, a, a particular workplace where you could charge your laptop, you could uh, further uh, extend the lifespan of your battery by setting it or limiting it only to 80% if you have this kind of feature but again it depends on your preference and the uh, capacity of your laptop so that's it thanks for watching this video tutorial if this video helped you leave a like and comment down below and don't forget to subscribe click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed on this channel yet and hit that bell notification to get updated with my latest tutorials gameplays and other useful stuffs so this is free software tips see you until my next video